Washington Titans of CNC. I'm here on the Deuce on the Ming 6500, and we're gonna take our first cuts on this machine. I'm excited! Finally, after all of the moving, we're gonna actually cut some chips, all right? But first, I just wanna say, if you love the education, you love our mission in lifting up our industry, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. All right, so check this out. I got this uh, cool piece of titanium. It's a big old chunk right here. So nice and big, nice and stout. This is from TMS Titanium. Uh, these guys actually gave me some extra pieces, some drops that they actually had in stock. So I figured, hey, this is an awesome piece of material. Let's actually throw some tools in there. And let's actually make something happen. One thing that we know from experience is that titanium is inconsistent when it comes to some of the cuts. And that's simply because of the process, all right? So when we look at the thickness, we're gonna see one side is gonna be thicker than the other side. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, double check to see how big the material is. So I got three inch, 90 thousandths, 93. Boom, come to the other side. Oh, that was within three thousandths. That's actually pretty perfect right there. So then I'm gonna actually pop this guy down this way. I'm gonna check this side. So I got 4.210 and I got 4.186. So about 25 thousandths. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm simply gonna take this side and make it parallel to this side. So I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna pop it right in here. You know, when I was talking about the inconsistency, check this out. You see how the jaw is hitting the material here. You can see a little bit of a gap over here, a little bit. You come over here, you can see it's hitting, but look right here, it drops off. See that big gap right there? So this tells me that when we actually cut this part of it and I zero the top surface, I gotta make sure that I understand where the low spot is and where the high spot is so I can be incredibly accurate with my cut. the top surface which is uh, this surface right here and now we're gonna probe our X and our Y so back here and over here this exact corner this guy right here it says corner number so if I actually change it you can see that it changes it here boom that's where I want to be because it's my upper left hand corner that's number two work offset is 54 input Distance from where I'm at. The distance over here, distance, I'm just gonna put one inch. So I'm gonna say one inch, enter, one inch, enter, boom. Tells me to go back to memory, hit memory, hit cycle start. And now we're gonna actually cut some chips. You can just see it start cutting those chips right there. Boom, dropping them. Oh, on the mix, making it happen. That's the first chips that we actually cut legitimately in this shop on the Deuce on. Oh, it handled it like a beast. Ooh, absolutely beautiful. at 80,000. 
but as it came down it actually tapered off and that's why it got quieter at the end because it went from 80 down to about 50,000, 40,000 because it was uneven. Now that I flipped it over and it's on a perfectly cut side, we're gonna actually drop down another 80 thousandths and that's gonna be a full load. So it's just gonna be 80 thousandths all the way across. Boom, and it's gonna be a nice power cut through. Like nothing right there. So you can see the spindle load is just like nothing, right? This base is taking 80 thousandths, three inches, over three inches wide with a four inch dodeca at 30 inches a minute, 80,000 step to cut, killing it. I'm excited. Ugh. All right, so absolutely uh, beautiful cut right here in titanium. You can see the chips are big and uh, kind of stringy, but that's just because you have a monster tool that's taking a cut right across, taking a cut right across, bone, bone, all the way throughout. At the end of the day, uh, nice and consistent, looks beautiful. So now I will actually go in deeper outside. I'll take it out, I'll clean it, I'll flip it 90 degrees, pop it down in there. So this side is actually over here. And then we're gonna take some monster cuts on the next video. Monster cuts, it's gonna be awesome. So again, if you love the education, if you love the entertainment and the awareness we're bringing to the industry, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, the bell, all that, and I'll see you in the next video.